eye can to use a triathlon club? So basically, I can is a youth triathlon club that um, incorporates youth from ages seven to nineteen, and it's a nonprofit organization in which um, members join and they learn the sport of triathlon. They compete in events, and it's a really uh, it's a team building atmosphere, and they're great to work with. had a website and a Facebook, so our plan for that was just to update those two. And we wanted to create an Instagram account, a Twitter, YouTube, YouTube account, in a way, press presentation, flyers, and a portfolio. And we actually made a portfolio just for Professor Fusik. That's just daily for her, which explains what we did, her purpose, and some reflections of what we learned and what, how we helped the club grow. So some key ideas was to connect some of the tools to the website. A website, we actually mentioned the, the other presentation that Facebook was going to be the brain, but we decided that the website was better fit because whenever you have a question, you want to learn more about something, go to the website, not to Facebook. So we just wanted to create a website like a place that you can go and from there you can go to all the other tools. And we also organized and uh, made a, well, had a workshop to teach the kids of the club how to manage and update some of the tools. We're going to talk more oh, about and that. And then the flyers for that are included in the packet we made. We made them little flyers to keep, so. Okay. Um, who's talking about those? Do you want to take it? Okay. So this is the website, the current website that they have. And as you can see, there's the Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram icons there. And you can click on any of those, and it takes you right to the um, Facebook or the Instagram and connects you to that. And so this is basically where we wanted all our trafficking to go. And so I worked with the Facebook, and this was their club Facebook, because there's a difference between the club and they're putting on this race in July, and it's a huge race. Three states come, like 200 participants. And so um, they didn't have a race Facebook, but I decided to take that on, and I work for ICANN as a graphic designer, so I'm actually gonna keep working on doing their Facebook and keeping their Facebook updated. But um, this is their club uh, Facebook page, and so the club members can go to it. But I also created one that's not shown here, and that's specifically for the race. And it incorporates pictures just from the races, and I've updated um, pictures from last year's race. And we'll, I'll be taking pictures at the new, or this upcoming race, and update those. And it's gonna incorporate in the future, hopefully, a countdown towards the event and just basic information about the event, so. And Nicole actually designed that logo, which I thought it was really cool. Well, I worked really good. <laughs> so Instagram, I actually created the Instagram account, and the purpose for the account was for a place where the kids can post pictures about their experience with the club. It was just a way that they can say, show to the public how much fun they're having in the club, and just show the events, what they're doing. So those pictures I actually took some of them and some were taken by some of the kids and we actually some of the problem well I we thought about it was 
can we actually post pictures without the permission of the kids? That was a big deal. So we, I actually talked to Coach Todd and said that when, when they enter the club, they actually sign an agreement with the club saying they have to or give the permission for the club to use their pictures in any tool, social media. So we're actually okay with that. So here we only have $10, just like took this screenshot a couple days ago, a week, I think. So we have more followers it's growing slowly because it is tailored for the kids, so it's just for the kids of the club. I mean, it's just a way they can show the public how much fun they're having in the practice. It's just the fun side for them. And so now this is the um, Twitter site that is being developed. Um, this is um, the purpose that I wanted to do the Twitter was um, I wanted to have it work alongside um, the other sites like Facebook and um, Instagram. But the main focus of uh, Twitter is going to be um, more focused towards like small updates and like changes of practice schedules and um, changes of meet times or anything like that, anything that'll change. Um, and I also wanted um, the kids to be able to use it to post um, little status updates during races. Um, since the meets take a few hours, it would be, um, it would, I thought it would be really beneficial to keep a flow of um, really quick updates going just to inform anyone who's following. Um, and another thing I wanted to do was I also implemented some pictures as well, kind of like Instagram. Um, the problem was when that we said that in the beginning of the presentation that we were going to make a Twitter, but they actually already had a Twitter. The problem was um, it was pretty much bare bones. Um, no photos in it. Um, I believe their last uh, post was March of last year. Um, so it really, it really didn't have any presence. So I have a few sample tweets that I did while we attended some of the races posted pictures of some of the actual events, um, and then posted some minor updates, reminded of practices, and things like that. So hopefully it'll continue to grow to, it's rather young still, so hopefully it'll continue to grow and become uh, uh, more implemented in the, in the scheme of things. Okay, one thing that I worked on was the YouTube, and Coach Todd emphasized early on that YouTube was something that he really, really wanted to be part of the organization, which makes sense because it's a lot more active than other nonprofits. Um, the Sporo Triathlon is at the heart, so it makes sense that videos from the triathlon would be one of the most important things. So um, the YouTube account, originally it didn't have anything on it, barely any videos, um, no profile picture. So I went in and did that, and one thing I, I really worked with was creating um, playlists. And Coach Todd and I um, met a few times, and we talked about what sort of like folders for different videos that we could make that he would like to um, upload because this is going to set the groundwork for the future and where he would put um, videos relating to the club. So we have um, I Can Junior Triathlon and Club videos, which is for videos specifically related to the club, like for events. There was a raise a couple weeks ago, and he's going to compile video from that so that he will upload that there. Um, general videos, um, this is for videos that are not specifically related to the club. Um, inspirational ones, one we have now is uh, Sports Illustrated Kid of the Year. Um, who runs triathlons with his disabled brother. So he, he thought that was, even though not related to the organization, it's still related to triathlons and was really relevant. And training videos was the last playlist that we made, and this is the one that Coach Dodd is gonna use to um, find videos online on YouTube, put them in there, or even upload um, videos himself. And that way he can tell, tell the kids at practice, look at this training video online, and that will help them um, perfect their technique be a better triathlete. And also, oh, sorry. Okay, and I created a press presentation which Coach Todd can use for, for when he has new members come to, to the club, he just wants to show, give an overview of the whole club to the new members, which is just the goals, the purpose of, of the club, and what the club has to offer to the new members. Lastly, um, this isn't, this is social media, but more I just designed the flyers and we put them out and stuff, so we well, thought we'd was, add it, add that because. Well, that was just an easy way to promote the club. At the events, just put flyers on the cards. It's just the old fashioned way of promoting the club, so we thought it was really cool. Those were in my neighborhood last week. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, really quickly, uh, uh, another thing I want to go over is bringing up the fact that the kids are going to be the ones um, running the social media tools in the future. One of the things we wanted to do was a little workshop where we could demonstrate to them how to use the tools, um, proper um, ethical use of the tools, what to post, what not to post, and things like that. So what we did was we met up with Coach Todd it was, uh, and uh, his, mainly his daughter and a few other girls that are going to be running it. And we 
talked with them um, after the race on April 28th. And um, we assigned um, Chloe and her friends on different sites, so they'll be, they'll be mainly taking over the Twitter and the Instagram. So, um, and we also provided them with really, really easy to follow simple handouts with um, guidelines as to what to do, um, just reiterating what we were telling them to do. And um, lastly, we reminded them of their importance to the social media campaign and um, that they're projecting an image of, um, the, of the organization. And, okay, you go. Uh, lastly, um, Coach Todd a couple weeks ago asked us if we were willing to stay on through the summer because on July 21st at Clovis North, they're going to have the Southwest Regional Championship con um, or Triathlon, which is a really, really, really big triathlon, and he really wants social media campaign to be a good mar marketing tool for them. So, if, so during the summer, we're going to be working with him and um, elaborating on the social media tools that we created to make this triathlon a success. Managing the Facebook because it's going to give 